Facebook still feeling the fallout from a bombshell New York Times report that claims the social network cut data sharing deals with tech firms that granted wide ranging access to user info not previously disclosed. So does that mean that Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg lied to Congress last spring when he testified that the company protects user info? Remember that? Well, here's exactly what he said back in April. One core tenant of our advertising system is that we don't sell data to advertisers. Advertisers don't get access to your data. Yes, Congresswoman, we run ads. That's the, the, the business model is, is running ads. And we use uh, the data that people put into the system in order to make the ads more relevant, which also makes them more valuable. But it's what we hear from people uh, is that if they're going to see ads, they want them to be good and relevant. I want to bring in Brian Stelter, CNN chief media correspondent and host of CNN's Reliable Sources. So, Brian, what we just heard from Mark Zuckerberg from April doesn't quite square with this reporting from The New York Times. What does this mean for Zuckerberg? Could he yeah, be in trouble? Yeah, it does not square. It really doesn't. And some critics are going so far as to say he lied to Congress. But all of this hinges on the exact words Zuckerberg used. And I think he was being very creative in his word choice. He was saying Facebook doesn't sell your data. But what The New York Times revealed is that Facebook does partner with companies and share access with the, to the data with other companies. Facebook isn't selling it to those companies, but it is opening the door up and it's benefiting financially from those relationships. So based on the meaning of the words like sell and the exact words Zuckerberg used, he may be able to slide. But I got to tell you, Pamela, we are seeing more and more congressmen and women calling out Facebook. Uh, lawmakers like Senator Ron Wyden saying that Zuckerberg is, quote, racking up the Pinocchios. So certainly there is a newfound sense in Washington that Facebook Facebook has not been transparent enough. And as we hear about more and more of these abuses of privacy, there is more and more interest in enacting some sort of regulation. Okay, so you parse the words, but it does seem um, at the very least disingenuous because it, it appeared like he was trying to convey or wanted right. to convey that Facebook protects user data. Right. That is the thing about this. You know, Facebook uh, has con con continued to say over and over again that it values customers' uh, privacy, that it knows how important trust is. And yet that trust has been violated over and over again. What we're seeing this year is death by a thousand leaks, death by a thousand revelations about how Facebook really works. Because the site is free, it means you and I are the product. We are the product that's being sold by Facebook to advertisers. And all these new revelations in the New York Times and elsewhere about the partnerships, about the other uses of the data, it's been surprising and shocking to a lot of users. So that's why we're seeing the uh, attorney general there in Washington, the local attorney general, sue Facebook. That's why we're seeing Democratic lawmakers call for new hearings and call for, for uh, possible regulation. Uh, I think we're going to see a very busy uh, time for Facebook in 2019 as they try to adjust to the newfound concern in Washington. All right, Brian Stelter, thank you for bringing us the latest. Thanks. And just moments ago, President Trump firing back at Republican Senator Lindsey Graham as Graham is blasting him very publicly, urging him to change his mind on pulling troops out of Syria. Back in